Hey guys. Um <clears throat> I feel like crap. Can't sleep. Too much pain. Uh so I figured I would make myself a hot beverage and do a coffee time with Cobra. Which is actually kind of perfect because I recently got an email from someone who, um, now bear in mind, me and this gentleman have been going back and forth about uh, his Magic the Gathering collection. He has a newborn baby on the way. Well, he's got a child on the way. It's his first child. And so he is quitting all of his quote-unquote childish things. This is what his partner has told him to do. And so, his partner has asked him to get rid of all of his toys, his collections, stuff. He, he's already sold a lot of his collectible statuettes and stuff like that and whatnot to other collectors. Uh, I met this person through you know, an, an email program, but uh, me and him uh, were bidding on a specific uh, statue. A collectible statue of De uh, of Gundam Death Scythe. Um, if you don't know, Death Scythe is my favourite Gundam. Um, he's always been my favourite Gundam. Um, he was my very first Gundam model kit I ever got. In fact, there's a video over on my old Malavictus Inc. channel, which I'm thinking about reviving and bringing it back just for my model painting and then use this channel just for my vlogging and video gaming. Um, but... Um, We've, we've remained friends for quite a while. And he emailed me uh, with pictures of some of his really rare cards. And he's already sold some cards at a loss, I might add, because I pointed out to him, um, no, that card is worth this, not that. Who told you it was worth the first price? And he listed two websites. I'm not going to say their names. I'm not going to say their names. I'm not throwing shade on it, on anyone. But this is why I keep saying to people, grading cards or video game cartridges or anything like that, fundamentally, is a scam. Now, I am not saying any company in particular is a scam. So please make this abundantly known. I'm, I'm not throwing shade on anyone. Okay? It's not it at all. What I'm saying to you is, having something graded, like I, I could have... Uh, here you go. I, I could have this glue stick graded, okay? Th there's a grading company out there that will grade anything. I could have this glue stick graded uh, 8.5 or a 10. Does this mean this glue stick's worth more than this glue stick now? No, it's a fucking glue stick. You stick it in a glue gun and you use it. Yes, I've been doing a lot of... Um, a lot of using my little baby glue guns. But the point is, it doesn't matter, okay? Your cards are only worth what the person willing to buy it is willing to pay, okay? I have got cards in my collection, and my folder is, folders, I mean, I've got two folders more, are over there, and my big bulk collector collection is over there, which I'm going to be going through and doing giveaways and whatnot. But the point is, some of those cards in both those collections are worth... Anywhere between three to seven pounds each. Okay. Now. One website. He, he showed me screenshots. Now one of the cards in question was Eldamari Lord of Leaves. Now I've, I'm, I need to get my collector set of Eldamari back. Because they were in my elf deck. Well the problem with that. Is uh, 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 same as um, Seedborn Muse. And a whole bunch of other cards that was in my elf deck. My elf deck alone, if I if I was to price it up right now, is probably just shy of five grand. It would cost me five thousand pounds plus to buy the cards that were in just my elf deck that my ex partner threw away. She threw away my entire deck box. They had my elves, my zombies, my soldiers, my samurais, my gorgari, my it. it, it I had so. Many de it was one of those long, huge deck boxes. Each one had a specific individual deck in inside it, and she tossed it along with five or six collectible albums, 
of which some of those cards you can't get because the artists are no longer alive and they were artists signed and proofed. Those cards were worth an absolute fortune. I had two of the Power Nines in that set. Gone. Poof. And she can't understand why I won't fucking talk to her. Well, maybe it's because you owe me hundreds of thousands of fucking pounds, you stupid twat. Sorry. I recently had keyhole surgery and... And I'm supposed to be drinking this horrible... Shit that comes in a box, in packets. You've got to pour it and shake it and then drink it. It's supposed to help with gut health. Um, and also supposed to help you heal. Um, so long story short... I, the way I explain to people when they ask me about do I offer a grading service no I do not offer a grading service I don't grade anything I evaluate a card for its condition there's a big difference case in point uh, I'm gonna grab uh, this is part of my commander deck in here I've got a commander sphere uh, right up to do six and let me grab a corrupt All right so not an original corrupt shame but it's a re it, it's from a different series okay so the first thing i do and i'm gonna say this now i look at the condition of the card of what it came in so if i buy if i buy uh, uh um carts and they come to me in these hard toppers okay and these these hard backed do not bend see even says please do not bend you know that's one thing and this yes this is tracked i always if i'm spending more than 20 pounds on cards i demand that the seller put a tracking code on it and i can track the buggers uh again these are there's not a lot of meat on the bone for some of the cards i'm getting these are just from my personal collection some cards i will be buying knowing that they're going to go up in price hold on to them wait for them to go up in price and then put them up on cardkingdom.com um, that's one place I sell my cards at. It's Card Kingdom. Uh, not affiliated, not sponsored. Um, and so, and then they come in these shitty little penny sleeves. I hate these fucking penny sleeves. I cannot fucking stand these penny sleeves. If you have a customer, if I have a customer that buys, now bear in mind, Wrath of the Prodigious Six is actually going up in price. Okay, it's going up in price. I bought these, I paid, I think it was like £1.20 for four of them. One alone is going for £1.20 now. Okay, this card, Wraith of the Prodigious Six. It's a zombie that gets plus one, plus one for each creature in your opponent's, not opponent, opponent's graveyard. It's a commander card. Okay, it's literally designed for commander. Okay, understand that. So, if someone was to buy this from me, the first thing I'm going to do is grab one of these. These are a hard sleeve top loader. I will take it while still in another sleeve top loader. And then I will place it in like so. And I will make sure that it goes to the bottom. I.e. I will open up the top loader. I will push it down like so and then I will take it I will then put it in one of these make sure it goes to the bottom bottom fold it then ship them get the tracking then ship it and my day is done knowing that one is going to get to them in the best condition possible period now, I buy mine, my top loaders, in a pack of 35 for three pounds on fucking Amazon. Three pounds. Three fucking pounds. If you're hard up for three fucking pounds, get out of selling fucking magic. Okay? I get it. You're, you're, you're in it for the money. I do. I get that. But you're using shitty second class postage most of you people so and guess what by the way second class postage 90% of the time is less than 50p 40 I mean not even that if, you, if you're doing it more in, in a bulk thing like I do I do all my sales 
and I say to them, I only go to the post office once a week, so please understand it may take a few extra days to get to you, but it's going first class, so you're getting it in literally a day, two days tops, first class tracking. That's what I do. My Royal Mail Master Post Office is less than two blocks away from me. So I get my 3,000, 4,000 steps in. Because then I sw swing around, head into Aldi's, pick up my lunch, and I come back. Boom. Fucking done. Done and done. It's not hard, people. Seriously. Pennies. But you're too cheap, and you're telling me you're going to, we're going to lose the shop over not using a hard top loader. If a company uses these when I purchase from them, that is an instant rebuy. Do you understand that? That is an an instant I'm going to rebuy from them. And I mean that. That is an instant I'm going to rebuy. But if I see those stupid, horrible, cheap little penny sleeves, that is an instant you can go F yourself. I, I even even in, in even in, in, in even in the reviews that I leave back. To the people, I turn and say to them, are you that hard up for money that you can't afford to put it in a top loader? And nine times out of ten, hit <clears throat> Sorry. Hit me back up with, what do you mean? I'm like, I purchased over £50 worth of Magic the Gathering product from you and you put it in penny sleeves. Fucking penny sleeves do you not understand what repeat business is you are a ebay store therefore you're used to repeat business but you're used to dealing with people who will put up with this shit this low grade effort shit this is why when i open up a package and there's a sticker and a business card that says thank you for choosing a small business Fucking boom, you better fucking believe I'm ordering from that company again, which I have, by the way. In fact, I've spent an additional, I don't know, 150 with that company to the point where they even emailed me and said, thank you, we've upgraded your order, yada, 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 yada. I was like, no, that, I don't want you to. I appreciate it. I do, but you're a small business. You've got small margin and overheads. I get that. So please. I understand I, I later on down the line if I want a box set of something we can work a deal then and that's what I'm going to be doing soon I'm, I'm going to be getting sealed box sets and I'm going to be doing open uh, and so I'm going to be doing open edited uh, box sets uh, of, of, of whatever sets that I want to get I want to get the, the the cowboy ones because they've got reprints of um, some cards that I like, uh, Grindstone, no it's not Grindstone, Grindstone, Millstone, Millstone, they reprinted Millstone in that set, they reprinted a whole bunch of other really cool cards in that set, uh, I'm still in the market for Liliana's of a decent price, I'm sorry, I'm not paying more than £20 for a Liliana of any kind of Liliana, um, I'm, I'm more looking to collect them, I want one of each Liliana, just for my my collection that's it i don't unless it's a player set in which case then yeah i'll probably play pay 30 45 i'm not looking to resell i'm looking to add them to my personal collection because i just like liliana as a planeswalker in fact i'm getting a tattoo of fucking liliana okay i'm also getting a tattoo of fucking corona i'm also getting a tattoo of jessica i'm also getting a tattoo of kamal because they were some of my favorite fucking champions i don't know why they haven't made kamal a fucking planeswalker I don't know why they haven't made Jessica a planeswalker or even Phage. Phage would have been an amazing fucking fa uh, 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 planeswalker. Just say it. You missed out. You've missed out on a lot of good, uh, 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 a lot of good champions. Some of the champions from Champions of Kamigawa, the Yamzaki brothers, they would make a good fucking planeswalker set, a planeswalker card. I'm surprised they didn't come back in that Neon Dynasty shite. The, the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty or whatever the feck it was. I'm surprised you didn't bring back some of them for that. But you're doing too busy fecking around with hamsters and otters and mice and shit now. I'm sorry. I, I'm not playing Sylvanian families. 
Okay, I'm not playing with tiny little felt covered little action figures anymore. That used to be my cousin's thing. And she, she still to this day spends hundreds of thousands of fucking pounds on Sylvanian babies and Sylvanian play sets and shit. If she ever saw the the new, um, what is it called, Blumberg or whatever it is, Br Broomberg, Blum, whatever it is, the newest set, she would quite literally have kittens. And I'm not even kidding you. She's one of these sort of hippy-dippy chicks that, that likes fucking little cute, tiny little creatures. I mean, I like otters, don't get me wrong. Otters are fucking amazing. But not in magic. No. I'm sorry. I can't wait for this set to cycle out. And uh, the new horror set or something. That's something I'm looking forward to. The Master Collection booster packs, not so much. Those, to me, scream... Now, this this harkers back to the original question of why I don't grade stuff. And that's because Magic, Wizards of the Coast, Magic the Gathering, the IP in general, does not recognize, and I will repeat this, does not recognize the second-hand market for Magic the Gathering cards. They just don't. They do not recognize it. They've never publicly recognized it. They don't recognize it they don't okay so that being the case the only company's grading i would ever care about is wizards the creator of the fucking game but wizards don't do a grading service because they don't acknowledge that the second hand card market exists even though technically when they did the reprint of of, of a few cards like they reprinted they did the gold border crappy fucking reprint of black lotus and a few other things that for some reason is still selling for five grand you can't play it gold border cards cannot be played legally in tournaments regardless of what you're playing they just cannot be they're not allowed to be played period and you must inform your opponent that you're using them and if you don't it's an instant forfeit is what it is x, le x level one magic judge i'm telling you I still am technically a judge. I just not bother to get my research. There's no point. But my point to that is there's literally absolutely no fucking point to looking at a card that's graded versus a card that isn't. If the price difference is a card that's graded, I don't know, I don't even know the fucking grading system, A, B, C, 10, whatever, whatever the fucking grade they want to give it. If they want to give it a fucking gold star with fucking Mr. Blobby's face on it, good for you. Don't fucking care. It means fuck all to me means absolutely fuck all to me okay the grading and grading services are a fucking scam okay end of they are a fucking scam they just are but the only grading service that i would even remotely come close to respecting is one that's done by wizards or is associated with with with, with wizards and they publicly acknowledge that there is a second-hand card market which they won't Therefore, they're never going to have a grading service, which means all other grading services are fucking obsolete. Because ultimately, I could sell you these wipes, okay, these lens wipes. I could sell you this lens wipe for 20p. And someone out there is going to come along and say, oh, can I sell it to you? I can sell it to you for 10p. And then I can say, yeah, but this is graded. This is graded. This is why it's worth the 20p. Look at the corners. They're mint. They're crisp. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. They're fucking crisp, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. This is the thing. Stop saying fucking bro in every other fucking word. Because you look like and you sound like a fucking moron. I hate low IQ, barely you audible communicating people that say fucking bro in every fucking word. Stop. Go back to primary school. Kindergarten. Learn to communicate. Learn to use all of your words. Pronunciate and enunciate. Learn to speak. Okay? It's that fucking simple. I hate that shit. Bro, 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 bro. No, I'm not your brother. And if I was your brother, I would correct you upside your head with a fucking bat. Ugh. Not that I'm promoting violence. I'm not. Long story short, this is why I don't grade. 
I think grading is pointless. Grading is pointless. Grading means absolutely fucking nothing. It means absolutely fucking nothing. Okay? In a world where fakes are looking better than the actual printed product from Magic. Who remembers the the bending land, the, the banana land cards, and they were all foils because the because Magic used sh cheaper, shittier paper and cheaper, shittier printing services and paper and, and, and horrible fucking inks that ran and blurred and stained and Christ knows what else. And Wizards, you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Because you even offered refunds to, set to, to, to merchants who ordered over X amount of product and couldn't sell it because of all the bad reviews of the shitty quality of paper that you used you used the different case in point if you take um a land card uh, i should have a ton of land cards on my desk in fact I, I do they're right here if you take certain cards okay and you then take a card from unlimited alpha beta etc and you put them face down Okay, so face down, so you're not looking at, at the, the, the front of the card, you're looking at the face. You can usually tell from the quality of the paper just by running your fingers down it. And I know that sounds silly, but you can run your fingers down it and feel the quality. You can run your fingers down the edge and feel the quality. In some of the sets that they put out, you could even feel the glue. The glue on the foils. Which is why uh, in my old hobby shop I used to play at, we used to have this silly little house rule of if you dropped a foily land first turn, you gain a life. But it got to the point where when the newest set came out, and so we're talking in between Kamigawa, Betray it was Betrayers, Betrayers of Kamigawa was when we noticed that the land cards were curling, i.e., and, and these are just. Um, give me a, give me a land card. There you go. We could see that even when they were stacked, the foil land cards were quite curling like this. Even with other cards on top, they were curling upwards. And if you had more than one foil land in your deck, your whole deck was started to bow upwards. No matter how much pressure you put down, I saw kids put in freaking dumbbell dumbbells, freaking dumbbell weights on their decks to try and squish the cards down stay there for an hour two hours even overnight take dumbbell off and the cards will just go whoop right back up because of the shitty quality of the paper the glue and the ink because magic at the end of the day is a company they want to make a profit and how they make their profit is they buy cheaper materials and they sell it at a higher price well this is why certain sets flop it's not because the story arcs are shit, which 90% of the time is true normally in a real world. It has to do with the quality of the paper, the quality of the uh, of the cards, and the quality of the printing. But this is what Wizards doesn't seem to understand. Okay? They just don't seem to understand that. Now, when they come out with these raised foily stuff, what, this is Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Stop. Stop that. That is, that is that is bullshit Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I know because I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh. I had a really fucking expensive Yu-Gi-Oh robot ABC deck that had like a little mini Optimus Prime and stuff in it and whatnot that converted into this huge fucking great big robot and yada yada yada. It had Genzo in it and limit removal and all these other stuff. And, and yeah, Long story short, okay, I've, I've been around the block and I've owned quite a few card collecting games. Uh, uh, Legends of the Five Rings... Um, what else? Legends of the Five Rings, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Star Wars. I've had there's been multiple Star Wars uh, TCGs that have all flopped, multiple, multiple that have flopped. But I've always stuck to my guns when it comes to Magic, which is if the set is shit, they don't buy it. Wizards. I don't buy it because either a I don't like the story arc. Or B, the card quality is shit. 90% of the time, it's usually because the card quality is shit. The Bloomberg stuff, I'm not even touching. There's maybe two or three cards in that entire set that I want. Everything else, 
not touching i will sell instantly i don't care if i get that jace the fox mind or whatever it is which is apparently going for about 250 300 quid right now i don't fucking see the put the, the appeal of it it's just a jace only he's a fox Ooh, he's cute ooh, ooh. don't fucking care end of the day for me that's money if i buy a couple of uh, bloomberg booster boxes and i pull one or two to me that's paid for the booster boxes everything else can go straight into freaking mixed bags grab bags fucking christ knows what else or even trade fodder there's nothing else in, in that set that even remotely appeals to me nothing now the boulders gate collector stuff yes um Mostly because in my collections, I like to collect the Elder Dragon, so Nicol Bolas, the original Nicol Bolas, not the reprint shit. Um, the original legendary Elder Dragons. I'm, I had every single one of them. I want to get at least one of that, one of them back. I want one of the of the legendary Elder Dragons back. I want one of everyone back, just for my collection, so they can say I have every freaking legendary Elder Dragon. Nicol Bolas, oh god, and then you got the the spirit dragons. You got from from Kamigawa. You had uh, Kenji Fujin. So you had the green one, the red one. There was the blue one, the sky 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 something. I can't remember the name. Top mate. Then the black one. Oh, the black one's art oh, was just cherry. Um, but and then there that so, and then there was the white one. So there was one of each color. I want to get one. I want to get them back from that's from Kamigawa. I want to get those back. I don't want Jeet because Jeet was reprinted and Jeet's just cheap. If you use Jeet to win, you are a cheater in my book. Because everyone knows Jeet is broken. Which is why it was banned in tournaments literally about, what was it, like a month? Less than that. After it was reprinted. Everyone's like, no Jeets, no Jeets, no Jeets, no Jeets. I even in-house tournaments, we had a sign up that said, absolutely no fucking Jeets. And no Madness cards. Because there was that stupid bird that had Madness Zero that could just deck you oh fucking hated that bird fucking hated that bird oh so long story short no i'm sorry chris and i'll, I'll call you i'll say your name now i'm sorry chris mate i i don't do a grading service when your cards get to me i will go through them i will price them up for what i would pay versus what other uh, the other two websites that you've been using will pay and we'll work something out we'll find them we'll find a middle ground for you my friend okay um we will find a middle ground for you um so like i said i want to help you i'm not going to charge you anything i'm probably just going to charge you the postage to ship it back to you because like i said I'm, I'm not going to keep any of the cards they're your cards um but like i said mate congratulations <laughs> i don't know if it's a boy or a girl but either way muzzle tough to you my friend congratulations have a drink on me whether it be an adult beverage or not Either way, if you are a seller or buyer of Magic the Gathering products, whether it be Amazon, eBay, Facebook, wherever, Card Kingdom, doesn't matter. Fucking demand that your shit gets put into top loaders. If the company says, I'm sorry, we don't offer that, do not buy from them. Period. Do not buy from them. Okay? These are pennies, and I'm not even exaggerating. These are pennies. I've got 35 of them for three pounds. 35 of them for three pounds. You're telling me you are so hard up for three fucking pounds that you can't afford to, to, to literally, as I said, I'm sorry, as a buyer and seller of magic products, if I buy a product or, 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 or sell a product and it's over a certain value they always go into a top loader always go into a top loader for their protection for my customers protection for my reputation's protection because at the end of the day i'm sorry you're not going to ship a fucking black lotus in a penny sleeve now are you and if you do oh lord Oh, I'm sorry, if I'm ever going to buy a Black Lotus, I'm going to see it in person. There's no ands, ifs or buts. I'm going to see it in person, and I am going to bring one other person with me. And they are more, way more experienced at grading. I won't say grading, but, but examining 
more older classic Magic the Gathering cards, so Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, uh, Arabian Nights, that, that was, that's their specialty. All the way up to, I think it was like 1996 or seven. That's their specialty from there to there. They know those cards inside and out. They can spot a, a Alpha, a Beta, or a Revised just by looking at them and the text that they use, let alone the quality of the card and the paper and whatnot. He has caught more fakes and frauds out, more fake Black Lotuses, more fake this, more fake Mox Pearls, more fake Power Nines, more fake uh, uh, um, Demonic Tudors, and Christ knows what else. He has caught more fakes... And I mean this, he has caught more fakes than anyone I've ever known. And I mean that. He, I remember once we went to a game store in uh, Provo, Utah called the Black Lotus, ironically. And there was a guy in there saying that he had a Black Lotus for sale and he wanted 30000 for it. So I called up my buddy. And I'm like, hey, uh, Mikey, do you want to come to Black, Black Lotus and check out a card for me because I, I had the money in my account I had just sold a couple of Corvettes um, when I lived in Utah I used to buy and flip cars so in, a, in the winter I would buy sports cars because they're cheaper no one wants a T-top or a convertible in the middle of the Utah snow they want pickup trucks they want SUVs you know things of that nature so what I would do is I would pick up I would buy trucks in the summer because they're cheaper and then come winter swap them for the Corvettes and then price up, gouge up the Corvettes and the Mustangs and, and the Chargers and whatnot during the summer. <laughs> and I used to make stupid amounts of money. <laughs> well, in Utah, they got a thing where you can only sell a max of five vehicles a year before you have to register as a dealer. Sell, not trade. Trade's different. So I used to, nine, nine times out of 10, I would say, okay, I will trade you this Ram 1500 for your Pontiac GTO, the 2000 GTO, the one, the one I think is actually quite pretty. Um, looks like an angry raven. Um, so I'll, I'll do a direct trade and you give me three, three, three grand. And they'll go, done. Traded. Not sold. Traded. Titles are changed. He drives off in the truck. Get in, gets insurance. Drives it off. I get insurance. Drive it away. Done. Come summer, let alone the fact that Pontiac went belly up, so that Firebird just skyrocketed in price. It, I, I, that three grand, I flipped it and turned it into fifty three thousand and change, and then ended up getting me at the time a brand new twenty fourteen, no, twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen Mustang, um, brand new, barely had like maybe four hundred miles on, and I honestly feel like I got ripped off. And I'm a I'm a Ford guy, I love my I love me a Ford. I, I, my dream car I owned, which was a '67 Mustang, owned it, loved it, Jazzbo, miss you, darling. Um, but let me go back to what I was saying. He shows up, doesn't he? Barely even examines the card, like like for real. He 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 glances at it. I mean, he 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 literally looks down at it and goes, fake. And then hands it right back to the owner. Like it's nothing. He just, it's fake, mate. And he goes, no, it's not fake. And he goes, no, it's fake. One, it's on the wrong paper stock. This is grain. And he explains the grain of the paper and everything else and whatnot. And how this paper in particular is only specifically made for Wizards of the Coast. And he goes, this is nowhere near that. This is stationary grain that you got from like staples, yada, yada, yada. You've also used a laser printer that's been not calibrated correctly. And he even pointed out how the red, blue, green variances were different and yada, yada, yada. Flipped it over and he goes, plus this art is from Revised, but the text is from Unlimited. And, uh, um, the, the art is from Alpha, but the text is from Revised, yada, yada, yada. And then he flips open his binder and he's literally got one of every fucking Lotus. He owns, I think it's like six Black Lotuses. And he goes, see, these are real Black Lotuses, my friend. Yours is fake. And he just throws it to him. Closes up his binder. Puts it back into his bag. Gives me a knuckle knuckle touch. And goes, anything else I can do for you, Dan? I was like, no, nah, man, it's all good, bruv. And I looked at the guy and said, I'll give you 20 bucks for your effort. 
and he took it. I gave him twenty dollars. I took the fake black lotus. I took a black felt, thick sharpie, and I just wrote on it fake, you know. And then I gave it to the store owner and told him, put it up on the pegboard. They had a pegboard of fake, like fake notes, uh, fake magic cards, fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, fake uh, who the hell fakes Legends of the Five Ring? I don't know. You can buy the entire, you can buy all five start decks for less than I think it's like less than twenty bucks at the time. And right there, center, boom, fake. You know, and. As far as I know, that guy never came back to that store ever again. So, like I said, if I'm dropping even more than 30 grand, you better believe I'm I'm getting insurances, I'm getting assures, I'm I'm I want to talk to the, the last three owners of of the card. I want to I want all the history I can get. I don't want the grading history. Fuck grading. Fuck the grading history. Okay, I don't care about that. I don't care if Wizard, if, if Magic the Gathering's creator fucking graded the card. I don't care. I'm not interested in that. I want to know the history of the card. Okay, I want to know why the first owner decided to sell it. I want to know why the second owner decided to sell it. I want to know how he felt the day he cracked it out open out of a pack. What was the feeling like? You know, I want to know the history of that card. And the reason why is because I'm never going to have that experience, okay? Because all these douche magoo freaking Twitch Twitch streamers and whatnot are buying up anything alpha, beta, or, or, un, or, or, or revised or unlimited, okay? Putting them in, sending them off to a, a, a El Cheapo grading company, getting them graded, and then just sticking them on a wall and saying... Behold my stuff. Like what's his name? Like Carl Urban's character in fucking Thor Ragnarok, or in, in Thor is like, behold my stuff. It's like, if you don't have plans on using it, move it on. I'm sorry. I don't get me wrong. I have cards in my collection. I have them because they're memories. Okay, to me, like the Kamals, I've explained why the Kamal Red and the Kamal Green and the Jessica and, and, the, and the Corona and, and whatnot and, and the Acroma Angel of Wrath and, and whatnot affect me so much. It's because I have memories and feelings associated to those characters. I was also invested in the story arc. I bought the box sets. You used to buy a box set where you got a novel, a dial, a spin down counter, and you got like, I think it was like four or six booster packs in the fat pack in the original old fat pack that came in two boxes and you could pull up the cardboard and it turned into a really nice poster that you could put up on your walls magic don't do that no more why why why, why don't you do that anymore that to me was value because i got a novel i could read on my lunch breaks while at work now i spin down counter i don't care about that i i, I literally had like a, a crown roll bag full of them didn't really care about them and the booster packs yeah okay great i got one or two rares that I, I think are okay or whatever and i put them in the collection or whatever didn't didn't really bother me didn't really bother me but it was the boxes and the art that i liked too in my office i had like a whole wall i had one wall behind me that had nothing but uh, action figures star wars action figures Still in the packaging, can of packaging on the wall, on display. And in the other other wall to my to my 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 right, you walk in and there's nothing but magic banners, from Kamigawa, Betrayers, um, Savage, um, you name it, all up on that wall. And. My left wall, I had shelves that had a whole bunch of model kits and stuff on that I built and done for my previous modeling channel. The Star Wars action figures, I kept those because I knew that when the time comes, I can cash those out to collectors. So to me, I was literally showing the world that this is what I, 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 I yeah, I did the whole behold my stuff moment. I did that. But when times were tough, 
and I needed a bill that needed to be paid or I needed to buy something and I was short by maybe three or four grand, I would shop around to known collectors. Still to this day, I still have a Darth Vader head full of untouched Kenner mail order only Darth Vader's, uh, 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 Emperor Palpatine's. Seriously. Those alone are worth anywhere between three to nine hundred dollars each. Each. And I've got like. I've got a nine in one side of the head, two in the other, and I've got the other mail order ones still with the original Kenner wrappings on them. You can actually see them uh, on my Malavictus channel, on my other channel. You can still see them. Still with the original wrappings on them. No, this has been going on for 40 bloody minutes. I'm going to finish this coffee and get this video done. So, long story short, I'm healing. I'm better. We're getting better. Uh, sorry for the lack of streams. Sorry for the lack of content. Um, again, I had uh, keyhole surgery on last Tuesday. By the time this video goes out, so yeah, so almost a week ago. And I'm healing up nicely. Uh, I, I'm having to go to my local doctor to have my bandages changed today in the morning. Um, what else? Um, I'm on some painkillers as well, so that's been fucking with my sleeping pattern, which is why I'm doing a coffee time with Cobra at 10 o'clock at night with a cup of coffee in my hand, which means I'm probably not going to sleep. <laughs> Yay! Um, <clears throat> this is why I'm sounding like shit too. Uh, um... So yeah, I've got a whole bunch of I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming in the pipelines for content for the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to finish this coffee real quick. So, oh. coffee's done, video's done. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.